Hello and welcome to my video. Uh, in this video we will be going over the organization of your files and how to enable the uh, file type extension uh, so you can actually see the uh, uh, like the .png or .jpg uh, so it doesn't confuse you when you have to rename the files and you accidentally uh, add more to it and you have to uh, so first off we will go to um, go to your what, what's it, the file explorer uh, uh, sorry mine is in danish so i'll try to translate it uh, you go to your file explorer and then you go up to uh, view you should say view right here and then you will go over to file type that's my sorry <laughs> yours is called uh, file name extension uh, file name extension and then you just enable that and then you uh, can see like the png behind it now you can't can can't can just enable that and everything will be fine so when we got that out of the window you um, it's not required or necessary but I would recommend that you organize your files um, just so you know where everything is so if you go into like right click uh, some into new and then uh, folders and then you can name this whatever you you want to call it. I'm just gonna call it like uh, mod.io mod 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 <laughs> So I used to say the dot. Uh, and then inside that, we are going to uh, create another one saying uploaded files. Call it whatever you want. You can even just have one folder but just like keep everything in one area um, this one is called prep files so like preparation uh, in here you are all your random stuff can go and then in the uploaded files can be like the ones you have on what uh, I I I um, so when we got those files, I'm just gonna got another folder here somewhere. All my stuff in it. Uh, so this is my original FLMod.io, whatever. Um, in your preparation files, we are going to not do anything because uh, for this purpose I can do it. Uh, sounds, we have Daniel sounds. To copy it. Uh, we can go with my USMC and cup like uh, good type stuff. So we the highlight, if you have it already, you highlight it, you do control C and control V to copy it over here. And then we can close that. Uh, then we are having copy email version. I'm gonna put that into uploader files. We're gonna call this modding tutorial. Uh, just for my sake. Uh, put paste it in there. We can even open another one. Uh, and for that you just do open in your window. I click it. Uh, we got the UMC. UMC. Then we do these we email for that. Uh, currently you cannot do anything with the uh, rest people. You can um, use it for the main guy, but 
on like seven. So I'm just gonna use this one. Upload the files. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired as well, so. Um, upload it. We go into preparation. We take the Danish sound. Also put that in here. Is there anything else we can do? Nah, we're gonna stick with that for now. Actually, no, we got some. Vehicles here somewhere. Preparation, textures. Alright, so we got the characters, we got the sound. Now we're gonna take a vehicle. Uh, is that it? Okay. Uh, and now we have to set up the correct names for it. Because you can't just upload it. So what we want to do now is you want to go on to mod.io. Go to mod.io. Uh, first you want to create, um, create an account. And when you have done that you want to search for flashing lights. Flashing lights. See, there's already a bunch of them right now. Uh, but you want to go into guides. Then you want to go in model tag names. And then you can see there's like a bunch of uh, information here. Uh, so if you got the Taurus, that's the shortcut for FTA. The Vic is for the Crown Vic. Explore CTA is the uh, Tahoe DHA Archer Van Obviously Toe And then so on uh, For the characters it has to be also What it says here For the female And the only difference here between all these are the numbers same for those and that's basically it for now that you can mod. so what we want to do here is we want to have uh, I already done it for the UCM MC so but else if you don't have it then you just copy this up here control C on it go into that and control V on it for the mail in process, I'll edit the name exactly like that, nothing else. Um, for the sirens, go choice that's in this guide. We'll take the guide afterwards. So FTA, just FTA. Nothing else. No. Delete. Uh, FTA. And now that you have that, we will go into uh, guides again. To how to prepare files for upload. And inside that, you can see what the siren is supposed to be called. So it doesn't matter what you call it, you just need to have siren underscore in front and then it does Just call it uh, Danish police siren Screen Danish police uh, The supporter formats are dot .vav dot .ogg and dot p uh, mp3 uh, when we got all of that uh, we are basically ready to upload so what you want to do now is go into mods 
you want to do add mod, you want to call this a tutorial mod. Uh, add modding tutorial. Put that there as well. But you in in this one you want to put like a small description of what your mod is. So example uh, this is mod pack for. Uh, Then you want to do that, and then you want to go. Uh, let's see. Then here, in here, you can put like a, a bigger description. You want to do like the tags. You want to uh, have vehicle, I have character, and I have siren. It's for police. And then the file types. Got. That and the local, you also have to define. I don't have a, I don't have a legit. How, how do I say that? Can't remember what. the longer version of legit. <laughs> Can't remember. Um, so I'm just gonna use a placeholder, but you will require. You are you are <laughs> required to use um, a picture showing what the content uh, contains. So either it be an in-game screenshot of what you are currently trying to upload, or a, a real-life uh, picture showing it. So like search in Google, search your your pack name. And if you can find like, I don't know, a screenshot of whatever, uh, just as long as not like anything uh, 18 plus and uh, anything gruesome to look at, just like a, just a simple plain texture, like just showing what it is. Uh, homepage, is that optional, you can put your website or information, whatever. Profile you all. You can do like whatever you want here. Uh, obviously, nothing 18 plus either. Uh, we are going to put this into hidden. It's just a longer description. You don't have to do that either. It's just a sure. But these modding, uh, the mod name, summary, summary, uh, and the logo is. <sighs> Once you're done that, save. Uh, and then in this stage, you can then upload your file, which I'm just going to show in just a moment on how you do that correctly. Um, And then once you have done that, you just need to wait for uh, us uh, mother, uh, mothers to uh, accept it. Right. So what you want to do now, uh, go back to your folder. Instead, because I see a lot of these, do, uh, I see a lot of people doing this um, the wrong way. Um, many people think they just zip this folder. Like zip that, but inside it, then you will have a uh, folder in there, and you don't want to have that. So what you want to do is go inside the folder that you're trying to upload, like the content. Uh, highlight all of the files, uh, and then there's two ways to do this. I got WinRAW. That is the that is why I have these options. But else, if you don't have these options. You do uh, send to, and then zip, compromised, uh, com oh. compression, whatever it is in, in English, zip, and then you, like, what it is, mod in, tutorial, whatever, um, 
And then you can upload that. Actually, can I drop it? We cannot. <laughs> okay. That would be cool if you could. Uh, but if you do have been raw, then you can do this. Add to archive. You do not want to do raw or raw four. You can, you want to pick zip and then press OK. So once you've done that, we can go into select file. We can go back to my desktop and that upload it. Go into that and then you wanna do the zip fold. And then you basically have that. You, uh, I agree with the terms and privacy policy that is required, uh, but no, nothing harmful. You also, well, you don't exactly have to, but it's optional. Uh, add additional media like in-game screenshots. Uh, other relevant content showing. Uh, once that is done, you. Uh, Upload. And that is done. You are basically ready to go. Um, and then, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, you have to upload the mod before we can accept it. Uh, I'm a I'm a game moderator, so I can just accept my own uh, mods will here real quick. So I'm just gonna activate it. It. And then if you do view mod, you can like see the front page, what your content looks like, description, there's some tags, you can like, like your own stuff if, if you want to, uh, you can report, share. So basically now you are ready to go and you can also just like public publish it uh, but if it's a testing mod if you are a community who wants to have the mod private only for you peeps then have it hidden uh, save it then you go into teams and then you can add a member here either by email or username but they have to be registered on mod.io um, not entirely sure what the like the uh, the roles are but obviously I can't test that on my own uh, yeah, check your stats on it check status log for whatever reason uh, but basically um, that is it um, there's not much more to it uh, what I do want to say is uh, real quick uh, when you hide your mod you cannot see the mod in the in-game menu like uh, in-game mod menu you uh, you will have to go on the browser to find it that is Probably the yeah strange I guess but that is the only way you, you but uh, okay yeah also let me just fine um, I haven't written anything down so it's kind of difficult to remember everything at once uh, because it's hidden you cannot find it in the mod uh, in game modding menu so when you hit subscribe on the browser you still have to go into the modding menu uh, for it to like download it's confusing i know but uh, yeah that is the way but thank you for watching i hope it wasn't too confusing to listen to all this i am a little bit tired and uh, all the words are just going randomly to each direction <laughs> but uh, yeah Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. See you.